I'm deeply honored to be appointed as the Secretary for Justice of the Hong Kong Admi Special Administrative Region Government, and I would like to express my thanks to the Chief Executive and the Central People's Government for their trust, the nomination and appointment of me to this very important post. The Secretary for Justice is the head of the Department of Justice, serving as the principal legal advisor to the Chief Executive, the various government bureaus, departments and agencies. We also control the criminal prosecution without any inter interference. And another task that we take on board is that of protecting public interest. The prime mission of the Secretary for Justice is to uphold the rule of law. Hong Kong has returned to the mainland for 20 years now. One Country, Two Systems is the most favorable and appropriate arrangement for Hong Kong. However, as we know, during its implementation, there have been situations whereby some unpre unprecedented legal challenges have arisen. One Country, Two Systems is an innovative constitutional arrangement in unitary states. And for that reason, I can understand at times people may have different views about One Country, Two Systems and perhaps also the basic law. However, if we insist on applying legal principles, objectively and rationally analyze the basic law which is promulgated by the National People's Congress in, in accordance with the Constitution of PLC, we will ultimately arrive at the same legal conclusion. Over the years, I have taken part in a number of public services in the legal as well as the non-legal sector. At this point in time and uh, in this very um, uh, occasion, the fact that I am appointed as a Secretary for Justice in this new post gives me a great honor but also provides me challenge so that I can continue to serve the Society of Hong Kong. With the same conviction as always, I will do my best using my professional knowledge and experience to serve and contribute to Hong Kong. Last but not the least, I would like to express my deepest gratitude for Rimsky's contribution to Hong Kong that we have all been able to see um, through his hard work, dedication and devotion.